I want to align my reality with God's heart and with God's purpose for me. So without God, there's a there's a disconnect between who you are, who he made you to be as a son of God. Um, all of the capabilities of sonship align to his heart, which is basically, you know, what I only want to do what I see the father doing. So I need a relationship with the father to keep me aligned to choosing a reality. Jesus said we're gods, and in one sense we are creatures of our lives, but he is the ultimate creator who, is, who created us with a purpose, with an identity, with a, a, a sort of in his image, in his likeness, to be his sons. So without that, you're going to choose things aligned to the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and that's the problem with anything that disconnects people from God. Now, I'm not saying... Joe Dispensenza doesn't have a relationship with God, but obviously he's his ministry or what he's called to do is to engage people who aren't necessarily, quote, religious. So he's not using language that would put people off. So I would say what science has proven um, to be fact is still in terms of quantum things, it's still on a macro scale in that. Yeah, the observer chooses a reality, but they don't know how that works in the micro scale of your own life. And so there are principles which are proven by fact and mathematics within the quantum uh, realm, quantum mechanics, which are definitely aligned to what God says, calling things that be not as if they are uh, the whole thing of the power of our thoughts and intentions. And intention is a big one. And when it comes to the intention of healing, wholeness, in all those areas, we need to align our intention with God's intention, with our Father's intention, for there to be an agreement of intentions and then a multiplication of our ability to outwork what is God's purpose and intention. But he does give us a lot of leeway in to do it creatively in our own identity that he made. So he's not restricting us into one way or two ways there's billions of ways of doing his heart and outworking his intentions. We get to choose which is more aligned to who we are and our identity. And that's why it comes down to our identity and knowing who we are as sons of God, not just a formula or a technique. And I think there's always dangers in anything that creates formulas. If you do this, this will happen. And what if it doesn't happen? Well, you didn't do it then or you didn't do it right, or you didn't do it well enough. And therefore, there's always a tension that can bring people disappointment or feeling less than. So I believe that a lot of people are receiving revelation that is coming out of the heart of God, and they're using that revelation to help people to begin to choose um, a, a way of life, which is a, a way of life, which is abundance and blessing. Um, I would say... To be more effective, it goes beyond just having a blessed life to having a purpose to bring blessing as well as be blessed. So God blessed us to be a blessing. Love gives. So there's a key to understanding love, to be able to draw from the realm of lumen, quantum lumens or living light, grace, whatever you want to call it to be able to manifest realities in our lives by focusing our intention aligned to God's intention than just doing something that feels good or is coming from selfishness. Anything that we do aligned to the heart of God is not going to be selfish. And I think that's the key. Um, but in general, I don't disagree with a lot of the teaching of people like Joe Dispensenza who are trying to get us uh, aligned to intentional focus there's there's a number of others uh, who, who have similar uh, teachings um but you know what he's doing does have positive testimonies of it affecting people's lives but i would want to see what that is like in 10 years time not just in a few months so is this capable of continuing and being blessing uh, over a period of time and i think for that to happen you need to be aligned to God and God's heart and God's desires and God's intentions and find your identity in sonship, not just learn how to control life around you.
because that can become selfish and self-centered. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.